right, let's start at the beginning. This is my grandfather, Charles Vincent O'Brien. His friends called him Charlie. I don't think he'd be too happy knowing that the only photo that, uh, that I have of him is with his Hawaiian shirt on. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't let anybody shoot you when you're not in your favorite shirt. Anyway, he was a uh, vice president of Brillo Manufacturing, a one-time reporter for the New York Times. Uh, he had quite a remarkable life. And here's my grandmother. Uh, my goodness, Marion was her name. Uh, Marion, 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 Marion what, O'Brien? Oh yes, thanks for reminding me, Mandy. My baby book has my grandmother's name, Marion Josephine Phelps, born in Brooklyn, New York. There's my whole dang family tree there, much as I've got of it. Starts with great grandmother's name on whose side is that? My grandmother's. Grandmother's side. Her name was Ellen D. Lee, and great grandfather was Joel D. Lee. Grandmother's maiden name. Grandmother's maiden name. Elizabeth D. Lee. Who's Elizabeth D. Lee? I don't know. Grandmother don't know. on whose side? Oh, my father's grandmother. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, it started off with my father's great-grandmother and great-grandfather. Now his grandmother was Elizabeth D. Lee. D. Lee. Born in Woodland, Louisiana. My... Okay, that's his grandmother's family, see? This must be your dad's side. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it is, see? You know, start right here. Father's mm -hmm. birthplace. Okay, over here is great-grandfather's name. That's my father's great-grandfather. Great grandmother, Alice Castello, great grandfather, Sim Castello, grandfather. My father's grandfather's name was William W. Castello. Of course, my father was William Sidney Castello, born in Woodland, Louisiana. That's me, baby, William Sidney Castello, Jr. My mother's maiden name, Elizabeth Virginia O'Brien, born in Brooklyn, New York. And here's my grandmother, Marion Josephine Phelps. We've seen her, Brooklyn, New York. Her great grandmother was Elizabeth Phelps. Her great grandfather was Harry Phelps. And my grandfather is Charles Vincent O'Brien, born in Brooklyn, New York. And my great-grandmother was Nora O'Brien, and great-grandfather was James L. O'Brien. I don't remember either of them. I don't remember ever seeing them, huh? And all that good stuff was in this here. My mother's uh, kept this off from when I was born. First years in the life of William Sidney Castello, Jr. That's me. Better known as Bill and later known as Hank for some unknown reason. Alias Hank. Alias Hank, yeah. So they were born February 28, 1947. Don't laugh at that date now. Uh, Mace's Hospital. Margaret Mace delivered me. She was supposed to be some kind of famous doctor. Female doctor. That's yeah, unusual. female doctor. So back then, that's real unusual. Certificate of birth there. Uh -huh. And I don't think there's much of anything else in here, but it's nice to have that family tree. And it doesn't look like she uh, kept up any. No, she was disappointed enough with me, I guess, to not keep it up. But it was nice that she started it. And here's my mother. Uh, she was known as Betty. Her name was Elizabeth. And, uh, gosh, it's hard to say when this was taken. I recognize that lamp and table, though, as part of the furniture her and my stepdad bought in New Jersey when we lived in Pine Lake Park just out of Lakehurst. But we didn't have any air conditioning there, so this is probably quite a bit later. This is probably back in California, and that's probably an air cooler, liquid air cooler, not an air conditioner. All right, and here's my father and uh, his second wife. Uh, Cat. Cat. Yeah, yeah Catherine. Uh, they lived in uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Uh, he was in the used car business, from finance business. Uh, I think he started off in finance business, owned his own used car lot, and then his own finance company. Okay, here I am in person. I think here he's probably six to eight months old here. And here's another one. Crawling. I'm getting a little mobile. Yeah. And here's even more mobility. Look how chubby he is. Oh, there's two teeth I see on the bottom, so he has to be at least seven months old. Well, it looks like I traded in that stroller, doesn't it? Yes, for a spiffy fire trap. And here I am again, handsome young lad. Someone did a nice job carving out that pumpkin. It looks great. And let's see here. Here's a family picture. Here's my brother Richard off in the upper right corner. Uh, there I am squinting with the striped shirt. My mother behind me. There's my Aunt Donna. 
The little boy sitting in the middle must be John, and I forget his brother's name, Mike, I think, over on the end. Okay, here's uh, my brother and sister and I. That's uh, my brother Richard, my sister Betty Lynn, and of course I'm the handsome young fellow over on the edge. Oh yeah, and uh, now here's a couple of my brother. Look at the kind of skateboards they had back then. That's right, that's just a 2x4 with the old skate parts nailed to it. And here he is flying a little electric propeller airplane. Get a load of that car in the garage. F-50 Dodge, I bought that from my mother and uh, used that to date Mandy. Yeah, I can remember the first time I met him, he had that car. It was a flathead six engine, and I had rabbit fur lined seat covers. <laughs> hey, here's my, uh, here's my brother and sister and I again. This is, uh, oh, probably 1961, give or take a year. And those uh, brown and white shoes there, uh, those were my grandfather's. This is my side of the family. This is my father, William S. Sokol, and my mother, Mary Sokol. This was, uh, I was probably about 12 years old when this was taken. and I need to get some more photographs from my dad. This is my brother, my mother, that's me when I was a baby, and my sister. We were which, a couple what's years your brother's old. name? Bill. And your sister? Louise. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's wrong, Mandy? They didn't have color film when you were young? No. <laughs> My dad liked to take black and white photographs. I think I was about three years old here. There I am again. I must have had a hangnail there. Now that's a Studebaker you're standing next to, isn't it, Mandy? Yes, that was our first brand new car we, my father had ever bought. My brother, uh, when I was a little older, uh, took the car and got glass packs put on it when we were on vacation and when we came back my father was very upset that he had glass done that. Glass packs, that's noisy mufflers, right? Yeah, right. Boy, there I am, Hollywood style, glasses and all. Uh, am I the one you're laughing at here, Mandy? Must have been, must have been. I guess this is my favorite pastime whenever I went to see you over at your folks' house, huh? Yes, eating. Hey, here's another one of us when we were dating. I just got out of boot camp, right? Right. There I am again, just out of basic, ready to go defend my country. But that didn't prepare me for bigger fights to come. Dom, dom, da dom. That's my brother stood up for us, and his wife, Sally, was my maid of honor. Your brother stood up for us? I thought he held the shotgun. No, just kidding. And my mom is in her back to us, and there's little Jeff. Yeah, Jeff's down here, and that's Mandy's mom. That's Sally. Mm -hmm. Oh, got more? Let's yes. see. What's this? Same, same, same thing. Old. So we're putting on the ring here. Uh huh. Making putting on the handcuffs. A, making it official. Okay. What do we got here? They're pronouncing us man and wife here. Alrighty. And when we were all done, we walked outside. Church bells right across the street were ringing. It was 12 o'clock noon. On a Saturday, made it very nice. And this is at uh, the Cockatiel Inn. Am I winking or squinting? Squinting. I, oh, I'm okay. Winking, maybe. I don't All know. right. Devilish look. That's it. Yeah. This is at the wedding reception, my dad's house, with some of our friends. Huh. And you, that's your brother over right. here. Uh -huh. What do you got? Go ahead, throw it out there. Okay. Opening up our wedding gifts. That's got your mom in the purple there. Right. We got a lot, of, a lot of nice presents to start off with. And that's a friend of yours in the yellow. Yeah. Now who's this fat guy over here? That's one of my cousins. Speak up. That's one of my cousins. All right. Here we and go. Uh, the cake feeding. Eating the cake. Uh -huh. It's delicious. And look at that big mouth. Look at the opening of that. Uh, I didn't miss a crumb. Grand Canyon. And we're getting ready to leave. And that's all of my family. Who's this here? This is uh, Sus uh, no, that's Laura. Laura. That's Laura. That's Laura. Who's this one? Uh, Don. Okay, we don't know. There's John. <laughs> John, Jeff, Suzanne. Your mom. My mom. You. Yeah. My, a couple of my aunts and uncles in the back. And room. here's this Falcon that we drove all the way to Oklahoma. Yes, that was our brand new car, two hundred fifty dollar car. Uh huh. And then of course came Vietnam. Our unit had the Sikorsky CH-54A flying crane. 
But meanwhile, back at the ranch... David was being born. David Vincent Castello. And let's see, Mandy, you've got this nice David, uh, baby book for David. Got it. Born June, June 4th, 1968. Weighed eight pounds. And let's see, what other goodies we got here? This is David's little bracelet here, and my bracelet when we were in the hospital when he was born. Here's David with your brother Bill and his two daughters, Laura and Suzanne. Feeding time, bath time, nap time. Daddy was still in Vietnam at this time. And here I am coming home. He was six months old when David came home. When we built I was home. older than that. Army when they took me. <laughs> Got him mixed up. Aunt Louise and Jeff. David riding his first bicycle. David's first puppy, little Dixie. And there's our latest arrival, Anne. Your sister Louise is holding her, and David in her lap as well. Yeah, she was less than a week old then. And here's Anne again. We worried for a long time whether she was going to grow any hair. Yeah, she never did stop sucking her thumb, though, at least not by age 20. And here's when she first developed a taste for sports cars. Look at those wild eyes. I think she was doing about five miles an hour through the kitchen here. Well, we've got to back up a bit here. We missed one of her as an infant with her cousin Jeff holding Jeff, her. Jeff, uh-huh, right. And uh, David sitting there, too. And a brother and sister together, David and Ann. And with Daddy here. Some of these photos are a little worse for wear. This is in Sulphur, Louisiana, I believe. It must be Christmas time. Christmas in Louisiana. There's Anne strolling through the hall. Yeah, this is Christmas in Sulphur, Louisiana. She looks really interested in that wrapping paper. It was about two years old here. We're in California now. I wonder who she's calling. Well, she's calling her daddy, of course. She's quite a fisher person here. If you look real close, that's a big old yawn. But if you ask her where the fish went, it's... Either direction. That away, huh? First catch. Yeah, it looks like a successful fishing expedition. Right. Of course, we did tell him that if he caught it, he'd have to eat it. So, he's getting a little help from Sis here. They're standing on something, leaning over the sink in the camp, cleaning that fish. Looks like that operation perplexed her a little bit. Yes. Fish might be all right, but personally, I think David preferred rabbit. Yes, he still has that bunny. Ann thinks it's rather funny. Where were we when this one was taken, Mandy? Not very far. Looks like she's investigating something. Yes. And let's see, didn't she uh, find the cars interesting? Yeah, there, there we she go. She again, her and cars. Yeah, she liked them. Of course, Big Brother comes along and says, I'll show you how to do that. There's the evidence. Still got that thumb in there. Age three. And loving to take a bath. David doesn't look like he's too happy here. Lined up against the wall. No, he really didn't want to have that photograph taken. And loving her doll. 